And how's it going guys? Joshua Lafemi here. This is kind of a more casual setup. I'm literally filming on my iPhone and I am here live in LA. Uh, what I want to do guys is I want to do kind of a quickish video just going over a topic that I think is very important for all of you guys to understand. I want to talk about the low pass filter and some useful ways that it can be used in your next project, whether it be a lifestyle video, a feature, even a music video. Well, what is a low pass filter? Well, a simple explanation as far as audio goes and Premiere goes is it's an effect that you can put on any type of audio and it will extract only the lower bass tones out of your audio. But basically it can be adjusted anywhere that you want to accept any bracket of signals that you want. So as far as I go in the world of video editing, I use my low pass filter for two reasons. Number one, to kind of represent distance. And then number two, to just draw your focus onto a specific scene. I'm gonna show you two examples as far as using the low pass filter to express distance. And then one example as far as creating focus. All right, first we're gonna watch this video by this guy, Sam Newton Media. Um, you've probably seen this before. This is using the low pass filter to basically signify you going underwater. I'm gonna let you hear that one more time. See how if the music is normal, then as you go underwater, all the high tones drop out and you can just hear the low tones. This is used all the time. I feel like it is technically a cliche thing to do, but I think it's justified. I'm gonna show you another example. Um, this is a video that I made for my bro Don Jazzy a few months ago. Um, you're gonna see that this is a cool little After Effects video that required a little bit of animation, but I'm gonna basically go out distance. Going out and basically going to a fourth dimension it seems like. And then I go back into the normal setup, going back into the screen, and that's signified by the music going back to normal. That distance is now being closed that low pass filter is now gone. As far as distance goes, a more in depth explanation would be that using the low pass filter expresses distance from a sound source. So for example, say that there's something happening or there's music playing inside of a house, like on a boom box, and there's a dolly shot or a tracking shot that starts from outside and it tracks a person walking down the sidewalk, walking up the driveway and then walking into the house. When the shot's still outside, the music's gonna be muffled, and then as soon as the person opens the door and goes into the house, you're gonna hear the music normally with no low pass filter. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to use the low pass filter to bring someone's attention to something, um, bringing focus to another scene. So check this out. Into this. Music is muffled, and then there's like a huge climax that's happening in the video where just the pacing starts ramping up. It goes into a time lapse where you're just going forward at 100 miles per hour towards like the skyline. And that's being represented, that shift of emotion, that shift of pacing, um, that shift of focus towards a new scene is being represented through going from a track that has a low pass filter on it to the low pass filter suddenly being taken off. Check this out. Do it for 30 minutes to an hour, composite it together later in Premiere After Effects, and that's your shot. It's gonna turn from this into this. Crazy, shout out to Matt Como, he is amazing. Great guy. So guys, now I'm gonna go into Premiere and I'm gonna just show you quickly how to apply the low pass filter to a track. So guys, first things first, we're gonna go download a whoosh effect from Novato Elements. You guys know how much I love Novato Elements. Best digital products library in the world. You can download literally millions of different things, whether it be sound effects, graphics, stock footage, it's amazing. So you guys get the point. Let's download this Wish sound effect. You guys know that you can get Envato Elements for free for the first month just by clicking in the link below. This is a deal that you can only get with my channel. And this deal is actually going away at the end of the year. So get your free month when you can. And we are in Premiere now. I'm going to, I have this Wish here that I just downloaded from Elements. I brought it into Premiere. I have it right here. And I'm, I also have a, you know, just a little video that I edited in Australia a few years ago. And I'm gonna use these two clips, this Wish sound effect and this video to show you two examples of how you can use the low pass filter to create some pretty cool edits. Let's talk about wishes for a sec. When you use them in transitions, you know they gotta be tailored, right? A lot of the time, your wish straight out of the box will not be perfect for your specific project, so you gotta tweak it. You gotta go and maybe adjust the speed and duration, make it a little bit faster. You know, that's gonna higher the pit, high, that's gonna raise the pitch a little bit. Um, a lot of the time, what I do though, right from the jump, is I go to, let's go to effects, 
and then I go to low pass filter in the effects panel. I'm now gonna bring that on here. And what a low pass filter does is again, it's gonna basically take away those higher frequencies and just leave the lower frequencies. And it kind of gives the whoosh a little bit more of a muffled, um, I think better sound, I feel like a lot of the time for most of the situations that I'm in. Um, so I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without it. Let's uh, toggle off the effect. And then we're gonna bring it on. Um, this can of course be adjusted. The low pass filter has a cutoff adjustment feature that allows you to bring up the Hertz. The higher the Hertz number, the less high frequencies that are gonna be cut off. So you're gonna hear more of the high frequencies as the number Hertz number goes up. And then as you bring the Hertz number down, you're going to hear more and more of just the low frequencies where now you can barely hear anything. So it's your choice. Before I signed up for Envato Elements and I had access to literally hundreds and hundreds of Wish sound effects that I could download, I literally only had the Wish sound effects that I was able to find on YouTube um, that I had to rip off. So there was like one or two of them that actually worked kind of well. So what I did was I was able to turn those Wish sound effects that I downloaded from YouTube into, say, 20 or 50 different Wish sound effects by basically slapping the low pass filter on them and tweaking that as a way of just kind of creatively expanding that single Wish sound effects use. Okay, let's take a look at this video now. There's a certain point where she opens the window. I'm gonna show you an example of how to use the low pass filter in a creative way. And what I basically wanna do is I wanna show you how I can maybe have the music muffled when the window is closed. And then as she opens the window, I will take off the low pass filter and the music will then go to its full, full rich quality. Why would I do this? Well, again, it's just adding a little bit of depth to the narrative where I could pretend that the background music that you're hearing is maybe coming from a music source that's outside. So as the window's closed, the music's gonna appear muffled and then when she opens the window, you're gonna hear the music and all of its richness without the low pass filter muffling it. Let's just see if it looks good. Let's try it. Okay, so how about we cut the track here. Let's first unlink it so that I'm only dealing with the audio. Then I'm gonna go to my blade tool and I'm gonna cut the track. And then on this part of the track, I'm gonna put on the low pass filter. Let's bring it down a little bit as far as the cutoff point. Okay, that's muffled. All right, that was a little bit abrupt. How about we add a little bit of a a fade. So I basically just right clicked. I'll show you how to do that again. Just right clicked in between the two cuts and then apply default transition. And then that's going to just fade into both of these clips. There you go. I hope you kind of got the point. This clip had the low pass filter on it. This clip does not. I'm gonna adjust this. I'm gonna adjust this a tiny bit so it sounds a little bit more natural. I want this transition to happen and or to start right when that window starts opening. There we go. That's a possible example of, I guess, how that can be used. Um, guys, I hope you get the idea. Low pass filters are just kind of a little secret that a lot of editors, especially travel editors, like to use just to kind of add a little bit of depth to their edit. I'd love to hear in the comments ways that you've used the low pass filter in the past. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please remember to like this video, share this video. Remember, you can get your free month of Envato Elements down in the description below. I got two more videos for you to watch. And as always, guys, remember to keep it chill.